welcome to today's vlog. I'm going to be doing a day in the life with the snow over there. She's taking her first nap. She's almost been in for 44 minutes, so probably, probably get her out. Linda, are you ready? Good morning. Hi, babe. Good morning, crazy hair. Just going to turn it on. Hi, babe. Let me unzip you. There you go. Hi, cutie. Hi, cutie. Good morning. Good morning, baby. Oh. Stretch. Good job, baby. Good job. You ready to get up? New feet. <laughs> Hi, cutie. You ready? Mm -hmm. Grab our ear. Oh, I'm still trying to wake up. Yeah. <gasps> it's too bright. <gasps> Hi, pretty girl. Show smiles. Yeah. <laughs> Second nap. She had a really quick, short first one. But normally I turn it on once I get her in it and I'll put it up to level one. 
for it to give her a little bit more movement to calm her. She is fighting it a little bit. Alright, so here is the snoo without her in it. She's napping in the Mama Roo right now. Sometimes I like to not have to swaddle her arms down, which you would normally do in here with these. Um, you can have their arms out, but when she's laying flat like that, she tends to move her arms a lot. So the Mama Roo works well for us for naps when she, when I'm, you know, I just don't want to swaddle her up again. So, but this is the sheet that comes with the snoo and this comes off and I've seen people swaddle their babies in this out of the out of being connected I normally like it connected just because we in the beginning tried it connected or not connected and it was really hard to get in while she was, you know, you wanted to just turn the machine on so that it would start soothing her. And yeah, this just took longer, but you can take it off. Um, but this is the newborn or like the smallest size that it comes with. And it does come with another two, but so this is the one that we use. But like I said, I like it connected. And once it's connected on here is when the machine can turn on so when it's not connected the machine won't turn on so once it's snapped in then the machine will turn on when you're ready for it too like I said I have actually um, put her in with this around her belly and not her arms just because I, I just hated swaddling and fighting and wrestling with their arms down and she's really strong but so that's what she normally goes in for her naps or actually more more so for bedtime she's gotten a lot better at going in there Bravely is taking a nap. I wanted to show some of the other clothes that we just got. I just got in for her. I showed her Quincy May ones in another video. In this one, um, I've got two. I've got one little outfit from Solly Baby, and then I got some outfits from Mebby Baby. So the first one, this is Solly Baby, and I just kept it in here. I don't really know why. It's actually really shocked at how thin this was it's cute but it's super thin compared to all the other 
outfits that I've gotten her, but it does have the little cuff on it, which we don't use anymore. We were using that for a while because her nails weren't cut yet. And I got the newborn size, and it looks pretty big. The top actually looks small, and then the bottoms actually look really long, so their sizing is a little funky, but the quality, I'd have to say, isn't as nice at all compared to the other companies that I've bought clothes from, so not my favorite. I probably won't buy from them again, but um, so that's that outfit. And then this one, these are the Mebby baby ones, and these are really cute. This is just a long sleeve, little blush color outfit for her. And then this one, I love, it's so soft. Like this material on these is really nice. And again, these also have the cuffs if you need them. This is like a olive green color and it did get the knotted gowns i love the knotted gowns for her still we usually knot them between her legs she does have her legs free still but for nighttime you can cover the legs so it just i feel like it's it's pretty versatile so i like these for her still that she's still little and this one's really pretty it's like a brown ribbed gown so it's like the other one. It's got the little cuffs and it's just got the long gown again for her. Again, this material is so nice. And then the last outfit I got is this cute little footed zipper onesie. It's got the ribbed on it and I believe, yeah, it's got the cuffs on here and it's just such a nice pretty creamy color so love that and then last two things from them were these little bows bow headbands we got this rust color and then this blush color so we don't usually like bows too much i like the turban little knots better but these were cute and again the material is really nice and soft on these so just some more fun clothes for her. Once the weather cools down, it's still it's still pretty warm here. It's in the 80s. So, but luckily everything's still, I think, a little big on her. All right, so there's everything back in her little bucket. This is how I store her clothes. And I will put a link down for these two companies, Mebby Baby, and then if you did like the Solly Baby link. I'll put Solly Baby down as well. So this has been her th about her third nap. Um, she's taking really short, but a lot of naps today. This one actually lasted about an hour and three minutes, so that's not too bad. So, and a little bit of her whining has gotten her up to a level one. You ready, love? Are you ready? Morning. Are you ready to get out? Yeah. Down here. Mm. Oh. You going potty? You gonna move the hands? Are we gonna move them? <laughs> Good ball. Oh, stretch. There we go. Yeah. Stretch. Okay, now we're ready. Ready to up. Up we go. So she is back in her mama room. She does most of her naps, I'd have to say, in here. I'll do a couple in the, the snoo, and then most of them are out here. I just don't like to swaddle her up all day and night. So this has been another good addition with the snoo. Her next nap will be actually probably bedtime. It's about, I think, four o'clock right now. So, and then she'll probably start her bedtime nap around normally between five and seven, but she's getting a little feisty.
Okay, so it is now 5.48, and I just put her down for her bedtime nap, I guess you call it, I don't know. But yeah, so she's down for bed. She usually goes down around this time for kind of her longer stretch. I put it on level one once I just put her in there just to have it be moving a good amount so that she can she can sleep, but I'll go check on her. She looks to be doing good though. Okay, if you can hear, she's actually crying. So this thing will go up in levels so now that it hears her crying it went up to level two so if she keeps crying it'll go to level three and then again to level four and level four is when if she doesn't stop crying it'll stop and alert you to come get your child so we'll see if she keeps crying but right now she's still crying <laughs> Or whining. She's whining, I should say. All right, so now it just switched. It was on level three, and now it went to level four. And in this level, it just sh it shakes harder, and the noise gets louder. So it normally, she normally does get soothed at level four. So we'll see if it it should stop her from crying, which is really it's a really neat product how well it does actually work but we'll see if she keeps crying it might end up stopping <laughs> all right so of course which I guess is good because I can show how it works but she wouldn't stop crying so it alerts you to come get her in the machine turns off what happened my love okay it didn't work. What happened? You're so tired, though. Okay.